My name is Helen Walkden. I'm a student at Loughborough University and I'm studying a degree in systems engineering. Following GCSEs, obviously you have to make the big choice, what A-levels are you going to study? And having had those experiences at 14 and then beyond, I decided already that I wanted to, en to do engineering. Apart from that, I was also better at the maths and the sciences anyway, so um, I chose to do um, mathematics with mechanics, um, physics, design and technology, and also did further maths as well, um, partly for my own <laughs> stupidity and also because maths does play quite a big part of engineering. Well, systems engineering is really a, a bit of everything. We, at university here at Loughborough, we study um, bits of mechanics, we study bits of aeronautical engineering, bits of maths, bits of things to do with humans, all different little bits. And the aim is that when we come to build these big and complicated projects, such as the typhoon that you've seen at Wharton, is that we're the people who pull all those separate bits together and make them work safely together as a big whole, rather than just concentrating on little different parts. Well, the facilities within my department range from things like you see here, big computer labs, where you'll do some lectures, some practical exercises, a lot of your lab classes. When in my first and second year, I was in and out of rooms such as these, with lots of different experiments going on. Sometimes they're computer-based, sometimes it's like electronics-based, where you'll be working with actual circuits or other more fancy things like that. We also have things in, in my project, we did the underwater vehicle. We have a tank room downstairs where we use, obviously things like the hovercraft and the underwater vehicles for testing and designing down there. One of the biggest projects we do whilst here on the systems course is um, in our fourth year of the degree. We work in groups of about four or five people. We get given a, quite a large budget actually, ours was I think about £6,000 worth of money. There's one called ECMO, which is um, something to do with helping people in hospitals when they're in serious situations regarding their breathing and their circulation, that was one. There's also a, a hovercraft project which uh, I think a lot of the boys, a lot of the boys wanted to do. It's been quite an interesting project. There's also things such as um, cameras on aircraft for for spying, surveillance type of things. So there's lots of different things you actually get to get your hands on when you do engineering here at Loughborough. Well, I suppose I first heard the word Loughborough when through my involvement with BA Systems at school, and um, the program is quite well known throughout throughout the company. What appealed to me most about the systems course at Loughborough was that it was that the fact that it was an overview of everything, it really didn't tie me down specifically to one area, it gave me a lot of opportunities to go where I wanted. The way the scheme is set up, because we're BAE system sponsored students, is that we go in and have a year in the in the company, we do it in um, three separate placements, so we get to see a little bit of a, it's such a big company, there's so many different opportunities to try and pick up a, a broad range of what actually goes on within the company. I suppose Loughborough, I mean I, I came here and I like the campus, it's a, I really enjoy it, it's a great place to study, and I'm also quite interested in sport outside of academic work. I'm interested in my hockey and I do a lot of other things and Loughborough's got a really good reputation for that so it was just a perfect combination. I have really enjoyed my time on the systems engineering course. It was um, it was quite demanding. You do have to attend quite a lot of lectures and you've got to spend a lot of time in labs. It can be quite hard work but the people have all been really good fun. That's both my course mates and the tutors here. Um, some of the things you learn are absolutely mind-boggling. They really are fantastic and interesting things you learn. And then when you go into industry and you can see those things that you've learned being put into practice, it's really quite rewarding.